Hello, it's Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I have a tutorial on how to crochet this really pretty dishcloth using cotton yarn. And these dishcloths are such a great gift and you can crochet them up very, very quickly. And they're great for a hostess gift as a Christmas present or stocking stuffers. You could make a set of three and bundle them up together in a nice little set of two or three like that. And they're good for dishcloths, but they're also good for face cloths or spa scrubbies. You could uh, wrap up a bar of homemade soap in a cloth like this with uh, for a gift. So they're super easy to make. So next I'll talk about the supplies. Now what you will need is some cotton yarn, 100% cotton yarn, and I'm using the Bernat Handy Crafter yarn. And it is 100% cotton, it's a number four medium weight, and I'm using the hot purple. And this ball is 50 grams or 80 yards, which is just enough to make one cloth. You'll need a darning needle, and I'm using two sizes hooks. For sure you'll need a three and a half millimeter hook, uh, but if you're not proficient with your tension, you'll want a four millimeter crochet hook and some scissors. All right, so we're starting with a foundation chain and you want this chain to be very loose. So that's why I recommend using a hook that's a half a size larger. If you feel comfortable with your tension, you can stay with the three and a half millimeter crochet hook. Um, so start with a slip knot. And if you're new to crochet, I do have my beginner crochet series and I'll put a link to that below. So put your slip knot on your hook and you will start with a chain of 39 and you want to do these fairly loose even with the larger hook so yarn over pull the yarn through the loop that's one chain yarn over pull the yarn through the loop and yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop and that's three chains and so you want to make a chain of 39 so go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end all right, so I have 39 chains. And now if you're using the larger hook, you wanna switch back to the three and a half millimeter crochet hook. And when you have a chain stitch, the chain stitch is has three parts to it. You have your top V of two stitches, and then there's a third bump at the back. And it's this bump that we're going to crochet into on the way back. So you want to go back four chains and into that fourth chain, just spin that over and going into that back bump of the fourth chain. And you're going to go into that with a single crochet. So put your hook in under that stitch, yarn over, pull your yarn through. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's your single crochet. And you're going to do that again into that same bump. Put your hook through and pull it from behind. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And so that's two single crochets. Now you'll chain two and you'll go into the next bump and you'll do two single crochets into that next bump. Just going under the one loop of that bump. So there's one and two. And the first row is a little bit uh, awkward to start with. Now you're going to skip two bumps and into the third bump, you'll work two single crochets. Um, one and two and then chain two and then into the next stitch into the back bump you'll do two more single crochets so yeah this first first row is a little bit awkward but once you get through this first row it's very easy from there on in so again you're going to skip two bumps and then work two single crochets into that third bump and then chain two 
and two single crochets into the next bump. So you're going to repeat that all the way along until you get to the end. All right, so if everything has worked out well, you'll have nine little clusters and you'll have two stitches left at the end of your row and you'll have just finished your last cluster. So you'll just skip one stitch and it might be hard to find this last bump. I'm just going to do a single crochet into that last bump. There we go. And just finish the row with a single crochet into the last stitch there. And then you'll chain three and turn your work. Then you'll work into this chain two space and you'll do two single crochets into the chain two space, chain two, and two single crochets into that same chain two space. And from here on in, it'll be so much easier. And now you go over to the next chain two space and do the exact same thing. So you work two single crochets chain two and two single crochets and it does seem like it's kind of puckered and tight right now but in a little while it'll start to flatten out just as you work your way along and then just go over to the next chain two space and do two single crochets chain two two single crochets and it's that easy. And I am using a smaller hook for this pattern because I do want a, a tight stitch for the cloth. So you're going to repeat this all the way along till you get to the end of the row. Now coming to the end of row two here, I just have one more chain two space to work into with two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. And so now you're going to end every row in the same way, which is you have this beginning chain three here from the previous row, and you'll just work a single crochet into that chain three space. And you'll end each row in the same way, just like that. And as you work along, you'll see uh, the pattern will flatten out and the pattern will really start to look really nice. So from here on in, this is the pattern repeat. So now you just chain three and turn your work and then work your two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets into each chain two space. And it's that easy. It's a, it's a super, super easy pattern and yet it looks so pretty and it looks kind of complicated, but it's not really. So you'll work the same pattern all the way along and you'll end each row in the same way that I just showed you with that single crochet into the chain three space at the end of the row and then you'll chain three and turn your work and start working your way across in just the same way. So, so that is the pattern repeat. Now work that along and when you get to the end of this row do your single crochet, chain three, turn your work and work your way back. So you're going to do that for a total of 20 rows. And I'll see you there. Welcome back. So I've just completed the end of row 20 and you can easily count your rows by counting the little holes here all the way along. And so this is row 19 and then the very last one is row 20. So that's 20 rows all together. So now we're just going to finish off the top here and even out this scallop at the top. So I'll just zoom in here. So I've just finished the 
end of this row doing the single crochet into the chain three space. So you'll just chain three, turn your work, and then all you do is work four single crochets into your chain two space. So you're not going to do the chain two, just four single crochets into each space. And then go over to the next space and do four single crochets. So go ahead and work, work four single crochets into each chain two space all the way along the top of this row and I'll see you at the end. All right, so coming to the end of the final row, you'll finish this a little bit differently because we're wanting to mimic what's on this side here. So you'll do a chain two and then you'll come down into that chain three space with a single crochet. And then do a chain one to fasten off. And you can just cut your tail and pull that through. So there you go. And all you need to do is darn in your tail ends. And I do show that in the beginner crochet series. And for me, I just had a little bit of that ball of yarn left. If you wanted to make this a little bit bigger, you could probably do one more pattern repeat, which would be another four stitches because the pattern repeat is four stitches. So instead of 39 stitches, you could add another four stitches to your beginning chain and then do an extra row um, like that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more creative and inspiring videos. Thank you for joining me.